All righty. I don't know if that was super delayed. Um, but anyways, I have one of the most action-packed construction updates I may have done in a really long time. Outside of obviously track arriving, but there's a lot going on. And lo and behold, right before you on the screen, you can see some preventative maintenance occurring on Behemoth. So this was really cool to see. Obviously, at first, we jumped to some conclusions like, oh, my, did something like Fury happen to Behemoth? Well, no, we looked everywhere. We zoomed in really close. Like, we analyzed everything. There's no cracks. They're just checking all the bolts, making sure nothing's out of place, replacing any bolts that need to be replaced or marking them to be replaced. He did have a big bag of bolts. I can confirm that. You can see that hanging down below. We kept hearing it smack against um, the supports because it was super windy. Um, and with that in mind, today's construction update um, is I'm really glad I decided to fly. I almost didn't. I would have missed a lot of this, um, but I chose to fly. It got up to 70 kilometer hour gusts. So the drone was fighting for its life up there. Um, and she did really good. I'm really proud. Um, but yeah, this was really cool. Um, again, it's just preventative maintenance. Um, steel coasters have to go through a lot of work themselves. Obviously, like your car, like airplanes, all that kind of jazz, things can go wrong um, or things can start to, you know, deteriorate. And Wonderland, as you can see, is really good at catching it and preventing that. Um, so this is just one of those inspections they do to make sure the ride is totally functioning and ready to go for opening day. Um, no, it doesn't mean a paint job. Over at Tunnel 2, the roof was poured. Um, so that's really exciting. And some electrical work is starting to start. Uh, if you look closely, it comes from an electrical sewer there. So these little sewers all over the park actually house like little electrical um, starting points. Um, there's a word for it. I forgot it. Um, and yeah, so they are working on that and bringing it out towards Tiny Toms or out into that area, wherever it goes. But if you look really closely, um, they laid down that serious electrical work almost in a straight line. Um, but what's even more interesting is they are now removing bricks in circular motions in Elpen. Now, I wish I could have flown a little longer, but the weather started to get really bad and it did start to rain a little bit. So I couldn't stay and see where all these footings may be. Um, potential footings we're going to use. But they are um, from reaching out to a lot of people from the people who designed the coasters for this channel um, and Surya and just talking to multiple people. We couldn't figure out what else these circular patches that follow a path could be. Um, so we have them in rows of two and then we have a set of three that ends at the end of Thunder Run's building just beside that white truck there. If you look closely, he's kind of on top of one or he hasn't dug that one yet. Um, so yeah, that's really interesting. Can't wait to see what that ends up being. Um, if it does end up being footings for the new coaster or if it's going to be flower gardens that are dug out randomly, which it doesn't like that, that doesn't make sense. Um, Griffin's crown is having a lot of work done to it. Um, but on top of that front gate is really, um, taking formation, um, here. So uh, I will say there were signs. I flew twice. There were signs that extreme sky flyers pot of land was going to have some work done to it. Dirt was being, um, brought in and then some equipment was arriving. Uh, so we'll touch on that in just a couple minutes in this video. Uh, work is still going on on Mindbuster as well. So what an extensive project this has been. Um, so they were craning things onto the track still, um, and some woodwork was still taking place. I don't know um, if they ran the ride, although there's no signs that the ride ran, and then they found a few flaws, that which is very common, uh, that they just needed to iron out. Um, outside of that, Moosehorn Falls is moving rapidly. So pieces are being re uh, assembled, not reassembled, assembled in the parking lot um, at a very rapid pace, uh, and uh, water slide pieces have started to arrive. Uh, you'll get a better view of those a little later on in the video, but the staircase has all been uh, pre-assembled. Uh, the raft carrying device, um, the conveyor belt has been assembled and support structures are all laid out in groups. Um, Vortex was being put back onto the track. So that was really cool to catch um, as well as the fly. So both coasters are um, ready to go. Uh, Vortex has some, I don't know if it's just the drone enhancing it, but it looks like it has some beefier, brighter um, uh, like shoulder pads on the ride. So we'll have to see if that's true when the park opens. Again, it's really hard to tell on the drone sometimes what these things are. While it looks like we're super close, we're actually really far away. So some things like size um, get distorted. 
Uh, so here's just that better shot of the group of three potential footings and then the straight row of footings as well. Here's Extreme Skyflyer's plot of land having dirt um, brought in. And then a little later, you're going to see them leveling that out and flattening it. Um, over at Backlot Cafe, still heavy at work. Really excited to see what that place looks like when the park opens. Um, and then this is where things get really exciting. So I caught on the drone these giant W beams. Um, so these are W beams, not I beams. Very similar to I beams, but they are stronger, meant to hold more weight, bear more weight. Um, and yeah, so these were being lifted into the mount onto a custom cart on Guardian's track and wheeled in to the, from what I've heard, the transfer area of Guardian. Now that makes sense because the transfer track section is still missing from Guardian. So whatever work is going on in the mountain, um, I'm really interested to see what kind of stuff is going on in there because things are getting more and more confusing. Essentially, these W beams can create whole other sections in the mountain. Um, they are horizontal pieces and they are meant to hold up like a station platform. Uh, they're meant to hold up like an entire like new level in the mountain um, and a really strong reinforcement uh, to the mountain. So these are serious pieces and they aren't meant to be overlooked. They are 100% structural. Um, so wh whatever it can be, you can't even begin to, to predict, but they are important to the ride. Um, what, whether that's mountain um, restructuring, reinforcing, because there's different changes going on in the mountain, um, these are important pieces and important information for the 2025 project. Um, these are not the new uh, bin system for Guardian, um, but uh, it could be an extension to Guardian Station platform. Uh, there, there's that possibility. Um, but these are really long sections, and there's no room for the, that long of section for that. I'm just trying to spitball anything. It could be outside of the 2025 project. But my assumption is it has a lot to do with the 2025 project. Um, with that being said, there are no signs of anything at the top of the mountain. Obviously, I keep a very close eye on that if there's any markings. Um, but yeah, so work started to wrap up. Again, this was I was flying around break time here, but... Uh, over here, they dug out electrical lines, and um, yeah, they were starting to cover them again. So whatever that ends up being, um, I, we won't know until they announce the project, and it all makes sense. But it's going to be really interesting to see how it all plays out with what we've been watching over the last four or five months. Because um, we definitely have a straightaway section of serious electrical lines um, and one water line. And uh, straight sections of what appears to be almost like footings. I can almost see like a turn. You see the two footings coming out of tunnel number three. And then they transition into one footing. That leads to Thunder Run's old station. And then you see these pair of three. So again, that is a huge assumption that those are footings at this point. Um, but we just don't know what else they could be. Over at the Splashworks area, a lot of wood and equipment is arriving. My assumption is this is for um to get ready to pour concrete um to form the area uh so they're just pre-building all these like um formations or forms sorry um in that area to then be moved to moosehorn has nothing to do with 2025 and here's some of those new slide pieces oh my goodness i've been talking for so long it actually hurts to talk right now so a lot of equipment has arrived for moosehorn falls and as you can see they've been pre-building a lot of it really excited to see them pre-build these slide pieces um but yeah they were going home uh, they've been working day in, day out, day out. Uh, holiday, not holiday, they're working. So they are in a rush to finish Moosehorn. Um, and over at Front Gate, uh, the new fencing to prevent people from entering on the sides, as you can see, has been installed. It is cast iron fencing. Looks really cool. They're using the same fencing um, for the infield of Leviathan as well. So the whole area looks really nice. Really excited um, to see the final project. And yeah, lots of work going on with electrical and computers at front gate. Not quite sure what that is. Um, as you can see here, uh, they've been filling in um, Extreme Skyflyer. And I believe in the last shot, you'll see them leveling out the land. So really interesting to see what that ends up being. Again, um, there's only two places the station can be. That's inside the mound, which I personally think would be a really tight fit, but maybe those W beams are for that, um, or here at Extreme Skyflyer. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, what ends up happening, but 
boy, was this packed with a lot of information. So there's been a new rendering of Moosehorn Falls that has come out, um, as well as um, Griffin's Crown. Um, hasn't been announced yet, but that is going to be the name of the new VIP area. As you can see here, here's them leveling out Extreme Sky Flyers Land. Um, I'm trying to think. Obviously, you know, I passed on the information that uh, the food festivals were cut from the lineup. That ended up happening. Um, the only one that remains is Oktoberfest and the Canada Day celebration. Um, so we'll see if the food is included in that. I didn't quite read the full press release yet. Um, but yeah, that's all the information so far. There's been one additional day of fireworks added. So on June 30th and July 1st. There will be fireworks and uh, Kids Fest is still going on. Halloween Haunt um, will have one new haunted house. And yeah, that's essentially it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.